Hey everyone, Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to walk you through the March main kit for my creative scrapbook. I'm really excited about this kit. Um, it's the it's featuring the Spring Vibes collection from Pink Fresh Studio, but it also has a couple of other pieces in it as well. So I'm going to take you through it now and we'll start with the papers. So um, first up, we have this piece called Make Memories, and I think it's a two by two, two by two, cut apart. Yeah, squares, really beautiful. Um, there's a lot you can do with this. Um, you can use it in a mini album. You can use it for journaling, just general embellishing. So really, really pretty. I love this as well. This one is called Moments of Joy. So if you're here in the Southern Hemisphere, you'll know that we're... Um, nearly into autumn but that doesn't matter I think it's good to have um, collections that don't necessarily run with the season so we can go back and scrap our um, spring memories but I think this collection is actually really versatile for scrapping anything so that's the B side this one is called cherish this really pretty love 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 this um called soak it up don't know if i use it as a background or with a cut file we'll have to see this is lovely to make a lovely background take your time lots of lovely phrases really beautiful and i just love this so this is one of those pieces that i'm going to have to use both sides in some way see the good this is really lovely too you could fussy cut these out and um a horizontal stripe is always helpful for layering, etc. This is called Look for Love. It's like washi strips, really beautiful. And we have a blue floral. This one is called Daisies. I can see myself fussy cutting them, really pretty. A lovely gingham plaid. Here we have Sunny Days. Not sure what I'll do with this yet. Might de deconstruct it, stitch it, and put it back together. Um, oh, but I love this. So it's a hard call on what side to use on these papers. This one is called Wildflower. Really, really pretty diamond type shape with florals. And this is the B side, which you could definitely fussy cut. This one is called Daydreams. That would make a pretty background as well. And I just love the yellow in this collection. Um, here we have Perfect Day. That's really, really beautiful. And so is that. So you can see how I'm going to find it hard to make a call. Now, this is a piece of Echo Park paper from my favourite spring. I love that um, my creative scrapbook adds in some other pieces as well as what are featured. Like, sometimes it might be a couple of bits of paper or a pack of embellishments, but in this case, it's this. There is also a pack of embellishments, which I'll get to soon. So the B side, if you don't want to use the journaling cards, or no, this is the A side, is these beautiful butterflies, but I just love this. So, you know, this, as you can see, just goes so beautifully with the collection. So loving all of this. Let's turn it on to this side so that we can go through the embellishments. Okay. So we have a pack of the Spring Vibes Ephemera. Not going to take them out because that would take forever. But yeah, you can see them there. Journaling cards, um, florals, hearts, labels, tags, uh, like um, badges. There's lots of bits and pieces that you can layer, which I love. This is the title Ephemera. Awesome because I... Um, I don't use letter stickers so much anymore. I just love pre-made titles. Just makes it quick and easy. So there's lots in there like this. There are spring themed, obviously, and floral themed, but also lots of things that aren't. So really, really versatile. The Spring Vibes cardstock stickers. Love Pink Fresh Studio. Um, just so handy. Love that they're not glossy. You can write on them really easily. And then lots of phrases, a few tags. So really, really great for embellishing. And then from Echo Park paper that I love, the spring collection, we have some more ephemera. So that's going to work really well. Um, these are quite themey to spring. Um, but yeah, you can use them for anything. I mean, you'll, you'd use the spring for spring, but there's enough in there that you can, you can even scrap winter with this kit because I think that... Um, most collections you can use for anything if you make it work. And then, as always, we get a stencil. I think this will be a Vicky Burton one. 
Um, so you can see it there, it's just a nice pattern. Um, you can use distress oxides and you can um, use some like ink blending. You can use sprays, um, you can use modeling paste or molding paste. The possibilities are endless and I think it adds a lovely subtle um, just layering technique in the background. So that is a beautiful collection. I'm so excited to get started with it. And what I love about my creative scrapbook is they do include the latest products that are coming out. So if you want to head on over to the website, you can subscribe to your kit over there. You can also, you get two free cut files if you're a subscriber. Otherwise, I think you can also purchase the kits individually, but the link is below in the description box. So I'll be back um, straight away. I'll be getting into my first project with this kit. And yeah, I'm just really excited to get in it. So get into it. So thank you so much for watching. Okay, so this is the sketch for March. It's really lovely. And I'm just um, gathering some supplies. I've got this photo of Ava and Azaria in the pool. Um, this was January when we went on holiday up to the North Island for a week. So I definitely wanted to scrap it. I think I've included it in my monthly documentation, which you would have seen last month, my video for my creative scrapbook. So I also wanted to, I think, I think it's for Azaria. I can't remember which girl I've made the page for, but anyway. I will occasionally scrap a photo for the album, even if I've included it in my own monthly documentation. So off, off camera I cut lots of strips of paper. Um, I think I said in the beginning of this video that this is the first layout that I'm making. It's actually not. I think it may even be the last one, because um, the sketch called for scraps. It was easier to, instead of cutting into a fresh 12 by 12 just use what I've got left. So, sorry, I will correct um, the few in a minute. I've got, I'm slightly out of camera. Um, really sorry, I just got really into this and, and didn't even think, and then I realised that, yeah, there we go, that I'm not, um, not in view. So yeah, apologies for that. So I wanted to add some stitching, and I decided to go for hand stitching around this um, colour part. I do this often. Um, it just adds a bit of texture and a bit of interest. I was lazy, I have to admit. I looked at my sewing machine with all those paper strips and saw that my daughter had taken the thread out of it, and I just couldn't be bothered threading it up. So, yeah, you know, we all have our moments of being a bit lazy, and that was mine. But um, maybe I may not have hand stitched if I'd done that, and I definitely love how this looks. So I'm just using white. It's probably the thread I use the most. Um, I tried to colour match. No, am I using white? No, I'm not. I'm using pink. Sorry. Um, I was going to use white, and then I realised that I actually could colour match for once. Um, so here I'm using the Vicky Burton stencil, and uh, I almost forgot to use it. And this um, sketch has some circles, but I didn't want to do them. Um, I like to push myself with sketches and use them as a jumping off point, really. So I'm using, um, I think it's Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide and just with a close to my heart ink blender, which works really well. And I hadn't done enough, um, I think I placed my photo on this card down and I realised I hadn't done enough ink blending, but you can just line the stencil up and keep going. And I just love the subtle feature that it adds to my layout. And I'll be coming in at the end with a few splitters in this as well. Um, keep wanting to add black splatters but my black ink has disappeared I think one of my kids has taken it so I definitely need to find it because it's typical isn't it that when you're missing something you really want it so I wanted to use some of these die cuts and so I've used the today um is that my title sorry seems like a long time since I made this but it's not I guess the keep doing your best could be the title or the today could be the title um yeah, just going through these die cuts now to see what there is and what will work. Wanting to um, break up the squareness of this layout because we've got the squareness of the strips and the squareness and straight edges of a cut apart card and my photo. Love this little tag that looks like it's hanging off something. I just think it would be so perfect hanging off that card. I had fussy cut that flower, but um, I cut that bit out of my video because I don't end up using it, but it just didn't look right in the end. I think on the right layout it would. Um, going for these more realistic flowers and bits and pieces of foliage. So not wanting to cover up too much of the strips, but they are kind of in the background there, and they're a real good anchoring point for everything. So just looking to see what I've got. I'm out of um, dimensional adhesive, so I'm just using craft foam for everything now, and it works really well. I can even use my cropper dial and punch out little holes 
I'm going to punch out the holes and then use the, the holes that I've punched, little circles, as tiny little um, dimensional adhesive. So just playing around here, I don't really plan this out. I just go with what looks good. I sort of audition pieces and if they work, I commit to them. Here I'm adding some um, foam on the back of this just to lift it up. And I love how that looks. I had put that sticker down and if you don't press them down too much, they're quite forgiving and you can pull them up and move them. And I think the floral peeking out from the side there looks heaps better than that uh, square. It's a postage stamp, especially because it's quite boxy. Did want to get um, that other little embellishment with the umbrella down. Um, I guess it's spring themed which means rain, but in this instance, this is a summer layout, and we needed umbrellas for the sun, so I thought that was perfect. So just adding the splatters there. Um, really happy with how this one turns out. There is another piece of embellishment on the sketch on the top right hand, but I decided not to go for that. Um, like I say, I don't always copy the sketch exactly, but you'll definitely be able to see that I'm inspired by it. And if I love something, like I love the paper strips, then... I will definitely add them. So just adding some yellow splatters here, I think it's scattered straw, just to add a bit more interest. I would have added black if I could find it, but I can't. So anyway, I think it just looks lovely and subtle with the splatters. So that is my layout. Head on over to the website via the link below if you want to know about more about being having a subscriber. Thanks for watching.